100, 100. We are over 100 subscribers. We're at like 140 right now, and every time somebody clicks that subscribe button, it's like liquid cocaine being injected right into my bloodstream, all right? I am so high right now. So as I said last week, we're doing a 100 subscriber Q&A celebration. You guys ask questions, I'm gonna answer them because that's just the kind of good person I am. So without further ado, let's just uh, get started, right? First question is, I've been trying to conceive for over a year with no success. What can I do to improve my chances? Um, oh, okay, this is, this is the questions section of the, of the wiki how, how to get pregnant article. This isn't my channel. Okay, easy, easy mistake to make. I do it all the time. Okay, no, here we go. I, I found it. So first question, I am Fred says, what are your first couple credit card numbers? Um, and actually, I can I can do you one better. I can actually just give you all of them. I can just give you all the numbers. There we go. There's the numbers. There's the expiration date right there. And you know what? The three numbers, security code on the back, just for you. There you go. No problem. All right. Anything, anything for my subscribers, right? Uh, don't use that to buy anything. Greasy Taco Dog says, "How many pairs of shoes do you have?" Currently, I have four pairs of shoes, but. Incidentally, I have four pairs of feet, so it's like I just have basically one pair of shoes because I'm just using them all at the same time anyway. Coulter M88 says, can I simp for you? Haha, -ha, JK, unless, Coulter, let me just tell you, feel free, just, you can simp all over the place, all over my floor if you want. I don't really care, you do whatever you want. Oh, for real though, what's your opinion on broccoli? Um, broccoli, probably, I, I'll, I like it better than other vegetables, I'd say. It, it pales in comparison to paper broccoli. If you've ever had paper broccoli, that is just the, it's, it's the best. Way better than normal broccoli, just try it out next time. Lucas Gregson asks, do you fold or wad your toilet paper? I'm pretty sure I fold it. I don't know what wadding it would do. Folding, I fold it. I'm not an animal, okay? Frederick Barlow asks, what do you work other than YouTube? To be completely honest, I'm a hitman. Uh, I get paid to murder people. Uh, sometimes I do it for free, because it's fun. Other than that though, uh, I do a lot of editing, I do a lot of video production, stuff like that, which is why I have this camera and also know how to edit, so. Happily Explosive asks, how long have you considered YouTube? How many ideas did you start with? And do your friends slash family help you with the channel often? Now let me tell you, Happily Explosive, that was three questions. I said, comment a question. All right, you did three, that's over the limit. But I will answer them anyway because I need to do the video, so. How long have I considered YouTube? I've been making videos that I've been posting on YouTube for like five years, but um, this channel I only started like in November because I decided I'm just gonna say screw it and do a lot of dumb bullshit and just be really annoying and see if that works. And it's been more successful than my other stuff, so. How many ideas did you have to start with? I actually come in and I turn the the camera on and I start every video with a completely blank mind. I, I wipe my mind completely and then I channel and get possessed by evil spirits that then puppet my body around and that's how I make the videos. So they decide what the videos are going to be about and what the ideas are and then I just post them. So, you know, YouTuber stuff. Do your friends slash family help you with the channel often? Um, not really. Maybe a little cameo here and there but it's mostly just me. Uh, and a tripod, and my camera, and an editing system, and then also my tears. Justin So asks, where do you get your paper food? I'm very curious about them, and I couldn't find them at my local store. Well, here's the thing, Justin. You can't get them at your local store, okay? Paper food is black market only. You have to go to the darkest and most dangerous alleyways and find the most dirty homeless people. They will then lift up their jacket coat, and on the inside you will see the paper food lining their pockets available for you to buy and sell. It's that easy, okay? Frederick Barlou, again, Frederick, come on, buddy. Everybody gets one. I mean, I'll answer it anyway, but. What is your favorite food? My favorite food. You know, nobody's ever asked me that. And, and you know what, it, it's nice. It's nice knowing that somebody cares that much, you know, to, you know, even if it's small talk, just to, you know, just to know, just let me know that it, that somebody, you know, somebody's thinking about me, so. Um, short answer, I don't know, sushi. The boy, what do you hope for the future of your channel? Well, what do I hope? 
uh, I hope that I, you know, explode and become a billionaire. I mean, really, isn't that the goal at the end of the day? I just want to be famous, to be honest. And I want people to uh, get on their knees and beg for my attention and my um, admiration. That's really all I want. Alex Taylor asked, would you block me if I did one of those first comments? Also first. Okay, well, that's just... There you go. There's your answer. There's your answer. You like it? Did you like that answer? Okay. You should be dead. Asks, what's your favorite color? I don't know. I'm gonna be honest, it's gotta be teal. If it's not teal, all right, I don't mess with that shit, okay? It's teal or no deal, okay? That's my motto. <laughs> Nabil Corgan, sorry if I'm butchering your name. I loved your Gooba dramatic reading. What would you like to focus your content on in the future? Keep it up. Thank you, and thank you that is... I love those dramatic readings too. Uh, I don't know, a lot of people don't seem to like those as much, but thank you for saying that. What would I like to focus my content on in the future? Um, I mean, I don't know, whatever I want to make, whatever I think is funny, whatever I see going on that I want to make fun of. Uh, it really depends on where I see everything else going. Mike Allen, what tips would you give for people starting their YouTube channel? Um, I don't know why you'd ask me. Uh, I just barely got to 100 subscribers after half a year of doing this. So yeah, I just, I'm not the person to go to for this sort of advice. In fact, I'm the person to go to for the opposite of this advice. If you want to know how to completely dig your channel into the ground and not get any traction whatsoever, I can give you the best advice on that. But I guess if you want a tip, um, What's worked for me is that, okay, first of all, you gotta make sure your videos are somewhat entertaining so that people don't immediately click off of it. And then from there, the YouTube algorithm will absolutely not pay any attention to you and will not acknowledge your existence whatsoever. So you're gonna have to, you know, use other means. What I've been doing is trying to build up audiences on Instagram and, and even TikTok, because TikTok is so easy. It's so easy to get views on there. If you just try to get stuff going over there and then have links to your channel, some people will be able, I mean, it's a fraction, it's a very minimal fraction, but people will be, you know, funneling over to your YouTube channel. That's literally the only way that I've been able to get any traction on this godforsaken website. If you're not monetized, you don't exist. They're not going to promote you. You're going to have to figure it out some other way, which is what I've been doing. It's kind of working. Um, fingers crossed, right? Hey, One Piece. One Piece is an OG. What kind of content do you think you'll be doing when you'll be popular slash have a million subscribers? Well, if I even get, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna make it to a thousand, to be honest, let alone a million subscribers. Are you joking? If it took me like five months to get a hundred, I mean, it's probably gonna take me, if I do the math, uh, what, 200 years to get to a million? I don't know. If I did get there, what kind of content would I be doing? I don't know. I mean, maybe something similar, maybe not. I guess it really depends, right? Depends on what you see that people like, I guess. And, and you just kind of roll with what gets you the most views, right? That's how, that's how it works. But now that I think about it, um, I'm definitely gonna, if I get a million subscribers, I'm definitely pivoting to beauty tutorials. I think I, I know a lot about makeup and a lot about that sort of realm of beauty. So I think I might actually just start doing that. Either that or I'll probably do like 3 a.m. phone call to like de the dead your dead grandma challenge or something like that, you know? It's 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 what people want to see. Justin, so again, Justin, you're double dipping. What did I uh okay, whatever. I right. how did you know the Teletubbies was a prequel to Star Wars? It's genius. Yes, I know it's genius. And if you really want to know how I figured that out, I was sitting in my room one day and I was thinking about Star Wars and and how elusive it is is like this sort of this world this franchise and I'm like we don't know a lot about Star Wars and then I started thinking about color theory and how the lightsabers are like you know there's like the primary the basic colors that you know we learn in like kindergarten right simple and then I'm like wait a minute what did I watch when I was in kindergarten I watched Teletubbies and the Teletubbies are very similar in color to the lightsabers there has to be a connection and then I just dug deeper from there and I found all these little tiny little nibbles, these little nuggets of truth that led me to my theory and I, and I bust the whole thing wide open. And you know what? I've been getting cease and desist letters from George Lucas. He sent gunmen to my house, but I'm not backing down, all right? We're getting this thing out there, all right? Tell your friends, tell everybody that the Teletubbies are prequel to the Star Wars canon. The truth must be known. Zach Foster asks, would you do any collaborations with other creators Specifically, one named Salty Cool Kid 101. Just curious, um, you Zach, you you are a Salty Cool Kid 101, aren't you? That's you. You're just you're shilling for yourself. Okay. If I was gonna do a collaboration, it'd have to be for a good idea. So I mean, if anybody's got a good idea, you know, come at me, and I mean, I'll see. 
I might not respond to you because I might be socially anxious and scared, but I don't know. If your idea is good enough, you might just break me out of my shell. And last but not least, Marty Wilson asks, uh, Jesus Christ, Mar I said a que- I said a question. Oh my- Alright, I guess we're just gonna- One, is it me or is your left testicle bigger than your other two? Trick question, both of mine have fused into one power testicle. Get it right. Two, how come when you go poo-poo, there is pee-pee, but when you go pee-pee, there is no poo-poo? Some questions are never meant to be answered, alright? God hasn't revealed that yet. Three, favorite color. I said it already, it was teal. Four, favorite number. Seven. And that's just because that's the number of questions you wrote, because seven is a cool number, okay? Five, turtles? Um, yes. Of course, turtles. Six. I mean, well, there's no question mark at the end of that, so I can't, it's not a question, can't answer it. Also, there's not a, there's not question marks at the end of a lot of these. Um, check your punctuation, Marty. And seven, do you have time to speak about our Lord and Savior, Baby Cthulhu? I mean, I would love to talk about Baby Cthulhu. Uh, I'd, I'd want to save that for its own video because, you know, I, I'd, I'd want to get into detail about Baby Cthulhu and his uh, his preachings and his teachings. So maybe one day. So there we have it. The 100 subscriber Q&A celebration is in the books. I answered all your questions, and you guys know a little bit more about me. Just whatever you do, just please don't please don't steal my identity. Please don't hack me either. I would just I would really appreciate it if you don't hack me and also don't steal my identity. That would be cool. Thank you. I might do this again at a thousand subscribers if I ever get there. I probably won't. I'll probably die before that. Uh, and that's not a bad thing. All right, we should welcome death. Death is peaceful. Uh, death is a glorious end.